In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan caused widespread destruction in the Philippines, hitting Malapascua Island especially hard. While no lives were lost, livelihoods were destroyed. It was the treasure sharks and the draw for divers to catch a glimpse of one of the most vulnerable open ocean shark species that allowed the island to prosper again. While treasure populations have declined more than 70% worldwide, Malapascua and nearby seamount Monat Shoal are famous for daily visits from treasure sharks. Monat Shoal is a very important habitat for the treasure shark. They come close to shore, close to the seamount to get clean. And that's a very important relationship that they have with the cleaner wrasse and the moon wrasse and many other species of fishes. So a place like Monat Shoal is fundamental for their health. Malapascua is most famous for the treasure shark and divers from all over the world go to Malapascua just to see these sharks because it's the only place in the world where they can be seen almost every day. It's incredible how much of the lives of people are related to the treasures. You can see it when you walk there, you can see it in paintings, you can see it in murals, you can see it as logos of almost every dive shop that there is there and it's really something that they take pride in. I learned how to make a wooden treasure shark. I think treasure shark is important here in Malapascua because it brings a lot of work to people here. It's good business for me because it's a lot of foreigners who do diving. If they found a shark, they buy some wooden treasure shark yes, as a souvenir from here. For me, treasure shark is a gift of Malapascua. Ako si Renato Reoyan. Kani ay nga mananagat. Kani ato may bilis amo ang isda. Makuha lang mig pila ka isda, malipay na mi. Kay sa usa ka gabi ug managat ko kanang lima, ngadto spito na po ka bukiho. Nalipay ko dako nga nakabalhin ko di sa isla. Kay nagtugkad nako, nakita nako nga Importante gid kayo ang dagat para sa tao. Sama nako na divers. Og way iho wa man koy kwarta, wa koy income. Yo akong pamilya lunosan pod. Sa uh, Seoul kay na na may isda. So daghan na po tag divers mabot daghan pod may income. So kung wa pa mi muundang kaniadto pamina ko karon wala wala na isda ang unad. We've been doing our best to protect the treasure sharks. It's a constant threat when there are commercial fishing boats fishing nearby. We managed to organize a group of men to patrol Monad Shoal and we call them Migo Saiho, our friends of sharks. They're patrolling Monad Shoal 24-7 just to shoo away the illegal fishermen. Kining go and treasure shark. Dako kayo gikatabang sukad nga na discovery diri sa Malapascua. O ang local government ni deputize og uh, bantay dagat aron kaprotektahan ang maong monad sol. Working around the Philippines, you very often come across treasure shark meat in the market. The meat is used locally with a very low market value less than a dollar a kilo in many places. So the economical value of the live animal here is much higher than no, a dead one in the market. While treasure meat is consumed locally in the Philippines, the fins are often exported. The demand in the international shark fin trade and the lack of adequate management of catch has led to huge declines. If unchecked, the very sharks that sustain this ecotourism will disappear forever. The Philippines is in a unique position to advocate for the protection of treasure sharks globally because of the tourism value it has in the Anbantayan. It's just amazing how much of the economy of the municipality is hinged on protecting these sharks and showing these sharks to tourists that go there. This year at CITES COP17 in South Africa, the world's governments will debate whether to grant treasure sharks the global protections they need. These sharks are worth more alive than dead and hopefully the Philippines and all of the other CITES governments will join forces to properly protect them. Dili ra kay alang na kanamo alang kana sa tanan entero nasod sa Pilipinas importante nga ang maong iho dili mawala 